lot of informed or intelligent sources need to be collected and managed. So the first part that I looked at is data management because that's what we are talking about in the spatial context data management. So collection and management is one paradigm of this process that I will see and I will not go in the detailed nuances of this because that will open up a new, but I would be happy to respond to if there is a, any question regarding that. So one is the data management. The second, using that, we do the planning. And when we talk about digital India and talk about topographic survey, how those collected survey information, data can be used for planning. And that will actually uh, cater to different paradigms, different industries, different you know, uh, government departments. It will differ from what we do for disaster, disaster management to utility to watershed management, so on, so infrastructure development, which are a few very important points. From planning, so we, we come to analysis. So what have we done so far? What were we planning to do? What results we have seen with the set of actions that we have taken, with the planning that has been put into action? So that analysis is important. So, uh, so data management, planning, analysis. And, and for each of these, enormous amount of tools from the spatial side is available, which can be put in, 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 the, in the bracket of geospatial competencies. And the fourth is awareness. Once we have done that, we need to publish it. We need to share. And that's where we connect with the democratization, which has to be systematic and holistic. So from the subjective of of, of thoughts, I come to this data management planning analysis and awareness, and how would that be possible? So what we need to do that in order to meet that processes? So this can be done with a you know, telescopic uh, graph that Rajan had presented uh, yesterday, which is capture communication modeling and analysis. So for in order to meet this process, we, we need to this, do this. Different sensing technology have come up with different type of paradigms which actually integrate disparate sources in one platform. So picking up those platform which actually tomorrow can, 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 can cater to that objective of de democratization, uh, uh, bringing everything in one platform and becoming systematic and holistic, that needs to be done. So capturing that kind of data, Communicating, so once we have captured, we need to have the system which should be in the real time or whichever framework that we design or that the process requires, be able to communicate, be it communicating with enterprises, communicating with citizens, communicating with other technology providers, model it based on the, uh, the requirement we are trying to uh, embark upon, and then finally do the analysis of that. So this is the thoughts that is coming in my mind, both uh, in, in the three side, three minutes, which is uh, from the objective process and action. Three dimension. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Yeah. Digital means 3D. So yeah, very good. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nikhil. We have uh, Mr. Sharma. Now, very interestingly, like he is from the surveying community. As, and as, if I understand correctly, somebody like who is going out in the field, capturing data for and these data are going to form the building block for many of the large programs which government is visualizing or which we are talking about. If I have to ask him one question, do you think your business is going to undergo change because of government program which you are seeing or which you have seen being launched over the last one year? Number one. Second question, do you think, do you see any change in business because of new technological opportunities. If you can answer crisply, it will be great. 